What is a t-test? Why do we use it? When do we use it? And what are important assumptions? My name is Fabian Fröse. In this video, I will try to answer these questions. Let me start with an example when to use a t-test. The typical question would be to compare groups. The example comes here. Dogs and cats. Are dogs more loyal than cats? Question. And then we can compare these two groups. The formal uh, definition of a t-test can be as follows. The t-test is a method that determines whether two populations or groups are statistically different from each other. We would have a baseline hypothesis, age or zero. Both means are statistically equal, so there are no difference between groups. Or age one, both means are not statistically equal. Referring back to the example before, perhaps the results could reveal dogs are more loyal than cats. There are different types of t-test. Let me provide you a brief overview. There's a one sample t-test, which describes a statistical procedure used to determine whether the mean value of a sample is statistically same or different with mean value of its parent population from which sample was drawn. <laughs> to use some other words, so you would have a large sample and then you draw a subsample. And then you would compare the subsample whether the same or different from the whole sample. The more common way or more commonly used t-test would be the independent sample t-test. It's an inferential statistical test that determines whether there's a statistically significant difference between the means in two unrelated groups. In simple words, we want to compare two different groups, such as dogs and cats. Another uh, uh, specific form of t-test would be the paired sample t-test, which is used to determine whether the change in means between two paired observations is statistically significant. In other words, we would uh, use the same respondent and compare before and after. Maybe before uh, a person received some training and whether it improved certain skill sets. There are certain assumptions for t-tests. Only if these assumptions are met, then we can trust the results of our uh, statistic analysis. Here I only uh, uh, focus on the most important ones. The first one would be the dependent variable should be measured at the interval or ratio level. As I mentioned before, a mean value. Second, there should be no significant outliers. How to detect them and what to do? Uh, I've covered these issues in my video on data cleaning and preparation. Third, the dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed. And fourth, homogeneity of variances across these different groups. There's also in most statistical packages, there's a test. If these uh, assumptions are violated, they have an alternative test result, which is then more robust. We've now reached the end of this video. To sum it up, a t-test is a simple test for mean comparison of two groups. It cannot handle more than two groups, and it also cannot consider covariates either. If you're interested in more complex models, then uh, you may consider ANOVA, ANCOVA or MANCOVA. I have videos uh, for those uh, group comparisons as well. That's it for now. Thank you. Bye bye.